My name is Brian Schmidt and I'm an ARC Laureate Fellow and I am a node leader here at ANU and theme leader of the dark theme of Castro. So my father was a biologist and I grew up immersed in science as a child. And so I loved trying to figure out how things worked and to understand the world around me. So astronomy was something I was always interested of. I first remember seeing Comet West in 1975 when I was about eight. And that got me interested in how the sky changed at night and why, what was going on up in the sky. So we bought a small little telescope. I saw the moons of Jupiter. And that started a lifelong interest in astronomy, which was sort of in the background. I was interested in all sorts of science. And so it didn't come until I was about 17 that I had to make a decision what I was going to do for a career. And at that point, I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so I figured I should do something I would be willing to do for free. That's astronomy. And so I started my career in astronomy having no real expectations of being an astronomer, but I knew doing astronomy would help train me to learn how to think, learn how to solve problems, learn computers, learn math, and it was a great vehicle to, for me to, to learn things that I'd be able to use later on in life. I think people fail to realize just how good a career, a science career is. It's a great job. You get to do fun things, you get to travel around the world, you get to think, you get to experiment, you have amazing flexibility. And so to me, a scientific career is one that I just, I don't understand why the entire world isn't trying to do it. Now, it's true not everyone is equally interested in science, but if you are interested in science, don't be scared about the future. I don't know a single unemployed astronomer, not one. Because when we go through and try to solve the mysteries of the universe, we have to learn a series of skills. We have to learn how to, you know, make computers literally think and work, act on our behalf. We have to learn how to make expensive equipment work. We have to learn how to solve hard problems that have never been done before. And so I think anyone who's interested in science should have the courage to follow their, their, their gut feeling of what they want to do. And whether or not, if you want to be an astronomer, be an astronomer. If you want to be a biologist, be an, a, bi a biologist. If you want to be a scientist, be a scientist. Science opens up opportunities. The, my graduates, people who worked with me, some of them have done science, some of them haven't, but they've all been successful. And the, the training that they've got here has really given them a whole wealth of opportunities. It hasn't shut it down. Well, I think people think of science, scientists being kind of an unusual career. It's not. It's a very normal career. My life as a scientist is much like my wife as an economist. So the uh, different things that uh, people do as a scientist are, you know, we get to think, but we get to have meetings, we get to do all sorts of different things that uh, are common with any career. Ultimately, I think that uh, we're very social. We have to communicate, we have to write, we have to do all the things that make anyone successful. The difference we have is we get to decide more or less what we get to do, what questions we want to ask. We have great flexibility in our lives and that's what makes being a scientist so interesting. Well, don't be scared about doing a scientific career. It's a great career. If it's what you want to do, do it. Follow your heart about the, what you choose to do in life. And so don't say, well, other people are saying I should become, you know, whatever, a lawyer. Well, if you want to be a lawyer, be a lawyer. But if you want to be a scientist, be a scientist. Take some risks. That is, don't just assume I have to have my life planned out in front of me. You know, that's not the way life is. Take some risks. Try some things out. Be willing to back your ability that whatever happens, you will have options in the future. Now, it doesn't mean you should jump off a bridge, but it does mean that you should be willing to go into the unknown and, ex uh, you know, and realize that you know, by taking risk and enriching yourself, you're just giving yourself more opportunities downstream. Successful people just remain, you know, they always have options. And so I think the other thing is you do need to work hard, but you do need to work on something that you're passionate about. And you'll always do a good job on something you're excited by.